hello there. Oh. I get this right here. All right, I've got what another beautiful day to make a little more griping, huh? Here on the frozen lake, and I'm gonna make this quick, not just because it's uh, uh, below freezing, quite below freezing, and a little drafty, um, but just because I want to make this informal. And anyway, I'm doing this off the cuff. I asked you in the previous video how things are going. Maybe I should not look directly in the sun so I can open my chinky eyes a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, you know something? I think you do. Well, how have you been, Mr. Lash? I asked that in the previous video, and I said, let's talk about that later. So let's address that today. Um, Regarding this situation under which most, if not the entire world, is um, dealing with, we'll just call it the racketing, the global racketing situation. I'll just call it the racketing. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about, what you refer to as the COVID PSYOP. Yeah. Which, in which you previously have mentioned your, your high concerns about the possibility of losing the ability to travel and commute and I'll do all these things, participate in the economy without um, getting their government required cow punch. And I think you know exactly what I mean when I say that because I got that term from you, cow punch, the mandatory cow punch and how we should all avoid that. I mean, like it, any, anybody can see and it's not for reasons necessarily related to what type of toxic or deadly how deadly this cow punch is it's more of a principle of freedom in my case um anyway and yet you recently have admitted offhand maybe in a good way that you're now suddenly in belgium again and as i recall this is not the first time you've been back to belgium from spain in the past two years Yet, after you've done hours and hours of discourse about this racketeering, but what I want to hear is your personal experiences at the airport and on the airplane. <clears throat> I had to fly, or I chose to fly last year in January of 2021. Now it's 2022. These numbers are going to get mixed up. You keep <laughs> mixing them up in a lot of talks. But anyway. Last year I flew um, with Delta from Minnesota to Arizona to see a friend, uh, n uh, another couple of Shaktas, and um, they required me to do this, to wear one of their face diapers, as I've heard from another person. And I looked at their um, particular scrutiny or whatever, their um, particular setup, and um, both Minnesota and Arizona have written in exemptions of which anyone can qualify because they include um, they is the basically the statement is if it's unreasonable either physically medically mentally or psychologically to wear a face diaper um, then you are exempt and it, according to certain HIPAA which is a health information privacy act blah 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 you're not required to show any fucking proof however they put me on the phone at the front desk with um, a doctor and uh, I wasn't prepared to try to explain but like he asked it simple for well have you ever had have you ever seen a doctor or have you ever been to the hospital well oh, I, I think you're fine Jonathan just just try to wear it and they wouldn't let me board the plane or even ride the freaking four or five hour plane ride without being you know of the of course um, I turned away and tried to get some freaking oxygen Anyway, w the point I'm kind of gearing towards here is that um, uh, I want to hear the actual stories, and I've talked to, I've, I've mentioned something as much to Zobra. Like, I don't want to hear about theory and speculation. I want tangible story. What 
what's going on, man. It, it, it cannot be as bad as you say if you have gone from Spain to um, Belgium. Did they, did, did you comply? I'm sh almost certain you haven't complied in the cow punch regard. So what's up? What's it all about, John Lamlash? Tell us the story. Be transparent, damn it. And uh, frankly, like most of the stuff you've said about the racketeering is unnecessary. You don't need to make predictions. You don't need to like say what they're going to do or suggest what they're going to do. Um, because people who are making all these suggestions, even on Nemeta, have been way off base. I, we have to hand it to the Zenosh in this regard, or at least I, I, I see their genius. They still retain some human genius, and they have made it so that um, it's almost impossible to determine their real course of action. You cannot predict or expect what these, these um, Zenosh controllers are going to do next. Take the George Floyd incident. That came way out of the left blue. We were all just like getting used to this, this racketeering, this medical racketeering of the, the crown poison. Nobody saw George Floyd coming. Nobody saw Afghanistan blah, blah, blah coming, okay? So stop it with the predictions. Just tell things how they are. I want to hear your airport story. I want to hear your airplane story. <sighs> Give us information about your real life, not your armchair speculations. Well, I think I've had enough rambling. Thanks for listening yet again. Now take care. I'm going to go back inside and warm up. <laughs>